Blake Griffin. <laughs> Accidentally hit a squirrel yesterday in my car. Feel so guilty I could barely sleep. Casey Anthony is a monster. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most controversial show on the internet. My name is Riley, as always, I'm joined by my universally loved co-host, Dignan. Don't move. Today we're scrolling through your likes. This is Best, best tweets, tweets of All Time Tier List. We asked you to send us what you think the best tweet of all time is. Today we're gonna rank your responses tier list style. No points and all that, none of that. One point for each one. Describe your favorite tweet down in the comments. <laughs> Before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch, including a pre-order of both of these items. Brand new colorways of the crew neck and the much anticipated Diggy Don't Care No More shirts in black and red. Go pick one up now, the pre-order's up for probably about another week. And as usual, our Copes drop is linked in the description along with our Patreon or our cameo if you'd like to support us. Let's get into the tweets. Come on. Starting with a classic that I don't know how we missed in the first best tweets of all time tier list. Mm -hmm. This one comes from Rami, 4PF Rami. <laughs> I'm so drunk at Drake. Drake. <laughs> this is last year on New Year's Eve too, it seems like. This has become a formula for so many good tweets. It can be anybody now. Yeah. You just know exactly what they're doing. Just going, I'm so drunk <laughs> at famous person. And I love that the screenshot is at such a quaint moment. Like, this is such a popular tweet and 310 likes. Yeah. Like, this is before a lot of people saw it. What do you think it's sitting at now? 10 milli? <laughs> <laughs> 10 mil is like impossible on Twitter. I'm not on Twitter like that, especially not since Mr. Musk took over. I hate him. I'm vehemently opposed to everything he stands for, especially electric cars. You're against electric cars the most? That oh, seems yeah. like the, the most mild of his things. I mean, who's gonna star then? Mater's out of a job. Little Red Rocket's out of a job. <laughs> the purple one's out of a job. Who's Little Red Rocket? I don't know, the main one. <laughs> Lightning McQueen? Sure, whatever. <laughs> I thought it was Little Red Rocket. Little Red Rocket? We had the off-brand one. Who's we? My Yes. We had the off-brand cars. What was it called? Whips and Whips 2. Whips? Yeah, Whips. <laughs> Little Red Rocket was the main character. Mater was still in it. <laughs> but it wasn't voiced by Larry the Cable Guy. Who was it voiced by? I don't know, some hick. <laughs> like a real hick. Right. Not, not, some, fake, yeah. not some debutante faking the accent. Right. S tier? S tier for show. We got a long one here, a three-parter. When I get DoorDash, I order 20 cheeseburgers at a time and heat them up throughout the week so that I don't have to pay the delivery fee multiple times. Somebody responds, and says, I hope you understand how food poisoning works. The original person responds, I hope food poisoning understands how I work. I never met a burger I couldn't eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's actually kind of genius too. It's like meal prep. I never understand when I see people, like you'll see health freaks on your Instagram story, meal prepping for the week. Yeah. I don't get that. How do you cook a meal on Sunday and eat it on Saturday? Do you mean like time zones or are you saying like six days later? <laughs> I'm saying six <laughs> days later. Yeah. Okay, cool. yeah. I'm not saying they time travel. I thought you wanted to go no. to like that one no. time where you can like throw a boomerang in the, sure. in the present and catch it in the past or whatever. <laughs> if you meal prep, stop. But this is cool. And I love that they've got the wrapper in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an A. A. Now we've got another fast food related one. <laughs> Them chicken quesadillas from Taco Bell be high af when you good. <laughs> this is how I know my brain's like a little broken, is nothing makes me laugh harder than shit like this. Just yeah. two words flipped. Like when like when Mad Ox said long jeopardy, he yeah. wanted his career to have long jeopardy. I laughed at that for a good 10 minutes. Yeah. Like when I first read this, I could not read it out loud without crying laughing. Just chicken quesadillas. <laughs> I know my brain's messed up because this just makes sense to me. That's an S. Yeah, easy S. It's a perfect S. Taco Bell probably replied and gave him like a $50 gift card. <laughs> yeah, so smoke up, brother. <laughs> so this original tweet comes from TMZ and it says, gorillas perform oral sex at Bronx Zoo, humans horrified, with a link. And then somebody quote tweeted it and said, I hope they perform Feel Good Ink next. <laughs> Do you think it feels good to them? Obviously, yeah. Great apes have sex for pleasure, right? They're in that category, like us, I dolphins. I it was just dolphins. Crows, I think. Crows do not. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. <laughs> um, orgy of crows is called murders. No, a flock of crows is called a murder. And a flock of lemurs is called? A uh, conspiracy. Yeah. Yeah, I taught you that. I know, you did. Flock of crows, a murder. Flock of lemurs, conspiracy. And a flock of seagulls is an awesome band from the 80s. This is good. This kind of reminds me of your tweets. Thanks, man. Why'd you say it like that? Because you want to give it an S and you love it because it's like my tweets. I don't know if I want to give it an S. Yeah, it's not actually an S for me either. No, but... it's not. I mean, it's good. It's like quick, but it wears off. 
You know what I mean? I'm not coming back to look at this for happiness when I'm down. Yeah. It's like a B. It's a B. Does anybody have a video of those gorillas too? I'm just curious. So this tweet is a co-tweet by two of my favorite Twitter accounts of all time, Jed Will and Shireen from Goop House. I've been a he, throw up the they, sex in the they, them. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jack Harlow. That's awesome. Jack Harlow pronouns. I remember you showing this to me and I you showed it to me and I didn't read it in the melody. I was like, what the hell's going on here? I've been a he throw up the day. <laughs> Sex in the day. Damn. Uh-huh. That Jack Harlow uh-huh uh -huh. is really special. It is. Like, even in the original song, like, mm -hmm. not just in this tweet, not just in people making fun of him, like, it really is just something very odd about his inflection there that is really pleasant. He's a southern belle. I understand the charm. Mm -hmm. I get it, ladies. <laughs> I'm just like you. I get it. <laughs> I totally get the Jack Harlow thing. <laughs> Pete Davidson? I get it as well. <laughs> we can totally relate on that. Brother and sister. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Timothy Chalamet sure is handsome. <laughs> there you go. Paul Mezcal. Paul Mezcal. <laughs> Am I right, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Paul Mezcal, let's talk about the news. Phoebe Bridgers and Bo Burnham spotted at LAX. Oh, man. Bo Burnham, Phoebe Bridgers. I'm going to end it. That's going to make you... You don't even care about either of them. No, I'm going to end their relationship, not my life. Oh, oh not my gosh. gosh. Okay. I'm going to stand in between them. They're going to like try and kiss, <laughs> and I'm going to be like... <laughs> like, are you playing defense? Like... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey. <laughs> Phoebe just could not get to Bo. That was shut down defense by Dignan. Suffocating Burnham's lips. No kisses this half. <laughs> I'm going to call every restaurant ever and just make sure they can't get a reservation. I'm going to do my Phoebe voice. Did I make a reservation for Mrs. Bridgers? <laughs> they'll say yes or no. And in the situation where they say yes, I'd say, I'd like to cancel. They'll never get into a restaurant. They'll never have another good date. Bo will think Phoebe's like kind of fumbling the whole reservation duties. He thinks he's getting stood up. Yeah. And I, ironically, he's the stand up. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Lynn well, well, ran. <laughs> <laughs> Lin Well Man Miranda. <laughs> yeah. He is a sex icon. <laughs> Lin Manuel Miranda, am I right, ladies? <laughs> yeah, all right. Ah. Oh, <laughs> this is an S. S. I want some shitty ones. Here's one that's like about something shitty. We got Zach Fox tweeting. September 30th of 2018. Mm, I remember that day. Highly recommend getting off the Kanye train before it inevitably reaches the Hitler was a good guy stop. He's a seer. I remember seeing this tweet in 2018 and thinking, no way, <laughs> we're not gonna get there. There's no way we get there. No one's gonna say that. But here we are. Uh, <laughs> Zach Fox is awesome for saying this and for his new R&B EP. Yeah, that was interesting. I fucked with it the, the, the medium way. Trifling. I mean, this is like the Simpsons, you know, putting Donald Trump in a cartoon as the president in like the 40s or whatever. It's not that funny, but it is like, wow. It's like Twitter Hall of Fame sort of vibes. Honestly, yeah, for just best tweets of all time, this is one of the best. I just mean, for yeah. what it was able to do. There's like a guy who tweeted in 2016, the next 10 Super Bowl champions, and he's gotten like all of them right up until this year. And he's got the Eagles this year. No way. I swear to God. This S? It's gotta be. You can't just get to see the future and not be rewarded. Next one. <laughs> First tweet, my talent is identical identifying birds. Somebody responds, okay, what's this one? And they respond, yep, it's definitely a bird. <laughs> Got him. It's a perfect setup. This is very like 2008 <laughs> anti-humor sort of vibes. Like it's like almost childish in a certain way. I love it. It's a beautiful little bird too. I'm gonna say that's a blue-breasted titmouse. <laughs> Nothing funny about that name. <laughs> You just keep it moving. I'm just laughing because Grant's laughing. No, I know, yeah. I was just saying there's nothing funny about that name. So. <laughs> about what name? Blue-breasted titmouse. No, I guess it's not funny. I don't think scientists thought it was funny when they discovered it. <laughs> You're right. I don't think they did. I don't think scientists photoshopped huge avatar cans onto Minnie Mouse. <laughs> That would be wildly inappropriate for people of a professional field, such as science. And they didn't have Photoshop back then. They had binoculars. S. You're going S? I want it to be an A. It's All not right, an S. let's do an A. We've been too kind so far. Yeah, we need some bullshit. Greta Thunberg. This one is a, this one's a story. I believe this is the most liked tweet of all time now. Good. Or in the top five or something. Original tweet by Andrew Tate, who probably doesn't need an introduction at this point. You know who he is. This is a prisoner at the moment, and for good reason. He tweeted, first of all, his 
at is Cobra Tate. Hello, at Greta Thunberg. I have 33 cars. My Bugatti has a W16 8.0 L quad turbo. My two Ferrari 812 Competition have 6.5 L V12s. Leaders. Whatever. <clears throat> yeah. This is just the start. Please provide your email address so I can send a complete list of my car collection and their respective enormous emissions. I saw all this go down. What prompted him? Or is this just out of nowhere? Oh, out of nowhere. Honestly, <laughs> if this were like a self-aware person parodying, that tweet could be on this list on its own. Yeah. But it's a serious man who really is doing that. And I do think there's like a level of self-awareness. Like he was trying to play into his own like sure. villain arc or whatever. Then Greta Thunberg quote tweets this and says, yes, please do enlighten me. Email me at smalldickenergy at getalife.com. It went on too. Yeah, there was more back yeah. and forth. He responded with a video that had like a pizza place. That ended up getting him caught. They thought. That was oh, actually, that didn't they, happen? They, they've said that that's not actually how he was identified uh, to be like in the country. Damn. I read one article that said that. I don't know what actually happened. Because that seems like, like a good reason to identify him, right? Yeah, it was just <laughs> a Romanian pizza place right. that proved he was in the country. I don't know. This is what I said. On Twitter, <laughs> I said, <laughs> I'm rooting for her, but this is like a 2013-ass comeback. Mm -hmm. Like, it just is so lame. Yeah. Like, I really do feel like it's real classroom child. And she's like a 19-year-old, so like, whatever. But as much as it can be seen as like a thing for show that she's like the climate activist icon person, I think what she's doing is important. Yeah. And there needs to be somebody like that. And I think she's good at it. But like, I hate this tweet. I think it's so like, not funny. This is like equivalent to the Ellen selfie with Bradley Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> the beef in itself is S-tier beef. Oh, yeah. I needed Impact this beef. Impact level yeah. is S-tier. Needed the beef. Love the fallout. Love the arrest. Love that his cars got repoed and seized and yeah. all that. I love the idea that Greta's somehow in on it and is like an agent, like a 007 type character. Yeah, for the woke police. Absolutely. Woke wee police. Wee 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 <laughs> PC police. I'm under arrest. What? It was in 2006. But as a tweet, yeah, I this is like D stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going D tier on the tweet itself, but S tier on the impact. Next, we got a repeat author in the best tweets tier list. Curtis. 50 Cent. <laughs> September 19th of 2010. You guys are really hurting my feelings. Can you kill yourself to make me feel better? LOL. <laughs> hurting my feeling. <laughs> I love the period LOL. Yeah. <laughs> like there's a lot of just like syntax stuff from early <laughs> Twitter that makes it so funny. Because yeah. this is also amongst like people updating you about their day. It right. wasn't even people trying to get jokes off and no. shit. It was people being like, just went to the dentist and now I'm going to get groceries. <laughs> <laughs> All that early Twitter stuff really in retrospect just feels like, wow, they were just asking for the data. Even Instagram was like, post what you're eating, where you're at, tag your location. Everything oh, was so like... That's nothing compared to like location settings now. Now, yeah. Like but now, the, every like every app knows where you are all yeah. the time. The Snap map. Yeah, I keep my TikTok on to keep my feed like fire. I leave the app open in my pocket all day. Really? Yeah, so it hears everything I say. So when I go to it, it's just ready to rock. It's kind of a recap of my own day at this point. I'll see TikToks of myself... I didn't even make, bro. When I did that PowerPoint about China the other day. Oh, yeah. Was it, you think you. Oh, yeah. I, I saw the that on there. It was open? Yeah, it said, enemy of the state will go down. And it gave me an exact date. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Here, wait, where's your phone? It was it's satire. 50 is always great. I love this stupid early Twitter stuff. This yeah. is an A. A. Now we got the New York Knicks <laughs> tweeting <laughs> two jerseys. Put on for the city. This one took me a second. Yeah, me it's too. like one of those old uh, when you see it, you'll shit bricks memes, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? Because uh, these are number nine and 11. Put on for my city by Jay Z. I put on for, for my, my city. city. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> what is that? It's the smirk you had going. Oh That's my how Jay Z be rapping. Yeah, this is just like a funny little coincidence. It's like a brand making a mistake. Yeah, I feel like someone did it on purpose, though. See, I don't. I think this was a, a pure mistake. There's no way. What's up, dudes? You don't want to go to the Denver airport this weekend, do you? Already headed there. You want to ride? C? That's where I'm going with it. I think C makes sense because it is funny. If it was intentional, then it's a C. Yeah. If it was like a mistake, then it's like more of an A range for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is just Martha Stewart tweeting a picture of a cow behind a gate and saying L. She did not. It's also in, <laughs> it's May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, 2014. <laughs> L was not part of the vocabulary no. back then. This is like a typo mistake. Yeah. <laughs> like I feel like this was something she just accidentally tweeted. It's only funny in retrospect. <laughs> L. <laughs> Stupid ass. 
ass cow. Stupid ass fucking cow stuck behind there. Fucking hell. It is a shame what we do to those animals, though, for the meat industry. Yum. <laughs> this is a rare sight, a cow with green grass to feed on like that. Usually they're just raised in a factory. Pump them full of goods and then blow their brains up <laughs> when they're ready to devour. I want to remind you that the second tweet we did today was yeah. about eating 20 McDonald's hamburgers every day in a row. And you were like, yeah, that's fine. Well, yeah, but that's not cow meat. It is. No, that's all sorts of animals. Cats, dogs, birds, it's dirt, mm -mm. sticks. Dirt? <laughs> dirt and sticks are in dirt there. Dirt and sticks. <laughs> yeah, let's scrape anything out of the alleys. Okay. Scrape up the alleys. That was Ronald's original philosophy on business. Ronald <laughs> didn't start the company. Yes, He's he the did. mascot. He's a clown. No, he became the mascot. He started the company, though, with the classic alley scraping technique that invented the tasty burgers that we know and love today. I literally have seen a documentary about McDonald's and it didn't start like that. It was wrong. The I was there. The do you were there? My family's worked at McDonald's for a very, very long time. <laughs> What's the Big Mac sauce made out of? You really want to know? Yeah. Colgate. What? Colgate. Like the, the toothpaste? Yeah. They tried it out as like an alternate to mint. Not everyone liked mint back in the day. So they tried like kind of like a mayonnaise relish. Yeah, like a Thousand <laughs> Island type thing. They banked on it. Thought it was really going to take off. Mm -hmm. Made a billion tubes of it. Really? Turns out consumers hated it. Right. Brushing their teeth with it, that is. That's when old Ronald dipped deep into his bag of tricks and he put it on the burger. Bought the Colgate tubes for a quarter price. Bam! Big Macs. See, I'm kind of the opposite of Ronald. I was a clown before I was a CEO. Um, this is an S. <laughs> this is an S for you? Yeah, it's a cat. Yeah, it's with like an, an accident, but yeah, I'll take it. But it's a fun. Yeah, it's an S tier accident. <laughs> Next, we've got another one that spread like wildfire on the internet. Just got hospitalized for my SpongeBob addiction. They put me in the squid ward. I don't like it that much. I like the typo. There's not a typo. Hospitalized? Hospital is up. Hospitalized. <laughs> Doesn't that feel like a typo? <laughs> hospitalized. Hospitalized. That's right. That's right. Yeah. There might That's be a, a word. Yeah. Hospitalized. But I think there might be a Z instead of an S. In Why the are you saying it like that? Hospitalized. <laughs> Why are they in the squid ward? Squidward. I get it. I don't think Too they much. actually have a squid ward at the hospital. Well, you'd have to be a squid if they did to go in there. <laughs> See, I think it's purposefully bad Twitter comedy copy pasta. Yeah. Which is like a new genre of tweet. Like Ro Ramden's famous joint custody. I think I can smoke this thing all by myself. Like that gets posted every single day mm -hmm. by hundreds of accounts. This was like that. Just not my favorite. It's like a C for me. Yeah, I would probably give it like an A because I like the the vibe of it. I like your tweets more, better. Next we got Eleanor Rigby voice, Jason Derulo. <laughs> Jason Derulo. <laughs> and the trumpets, they go. <laughs> Paul McCartney wishes he was fucking Jason Derulo. Yeah, then he'd have a fucking number one hit. <laughs> oh, I meant like sex. <laughs> yeah, Paul McCartney wishes he was fucking Jason Derulo. I don't know, I shouldn't have said stuff like that. That's like one of the greatest musicians of all time and an old British guy. I'm gonna go B tier on this. It's floating around a C, B minus. I'm getting a little more critical. I need like heaters. Yeah, yeah. This is nice though. It was like a nice little giggle. I got a chuckle and yeah. then a scroll. Now we got, I'm high. I made this hamburger helper with no milk. This shit tastes like cargo <laughs> pants. Somebody responds, why do you know what cargo pants tastes like? And he responds, I be in situations. <laughs> I be in situations. <laughs> it's hard to imagine a situation where you'd have to eat cargo pants. Actually, I had to do one last weekend. What happened? I was on a spirit flight and my personal bag was too big. First yeah. thing I saw when I opened it up, a pair of cargo pants, ate it, locked eyes with the person. <laughs> they said, sir, sir, please don't. Just pay for the bigger bat. <laughs> <laughs> and I jammed up like that. It got tough, man. I was really jamming. I'm puking up. Like the pants were like half down, half out. And I'm throwing up around the pants. But totally. <laughs> I'm wringing out <laughs> the pants that are dangling out of vomit, but the vomit kind of helped lubricate them down. I got them down, coming out. That was even tougher, but I did that on the plane. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. So that's kind of like S cargo. I go B. Oh, I go like teetering on an S for me. Really? Just I be in situations. You could pull it up through an A, but it's not an S. All right, let's go A with it. Apollo says, children's shirts are so weird. Like girls' shirts are like rainbows plus gorgeous equals flower, penguin, besties, music sign, strawberry. 
Burberry, and boys' shirts are like, kill your sister, <laughs> shit your pants, cars. <laughs> See, now this is excellent stuff. Yeah. This is really good. Kill your sister, shit your pants, it's cars. <laughs> I didn't know you could do tweets in all these crazy fonts. Oh, yeah. There's code for it. You have, yeah. to, you have to be good at coding. It's an easy S. Yeah, this is an S for me. And if someone has a kill your sister, shit your pants, cars shirt out there, I'd like it. Yeah, please send it to our PO box. Yeah. It's in our Instagram bio. And I'll take the first shirt, too. That seems nice. Next, we've got Logan Paul from last week with The Matrix is Real. Pray you never become its target. This is him in the midst of his crypto scandal about how he, like, scammed a bunch of people out of millions. And he's, like, trying to explain it away, doing a whole thing that I just can't care about and do not care about at yeah, all. I didn't even hear about this. I've been seeing him post a ton about it, and apparently it's a big deal, but I just couldn't give less of a shit. Yeah. But I just love Logan Paul deciding that he's become the target of the Matrix and not that he just makes terrible decisions all right. the time. Like, yeah. pray you never become its target. It's like, dude, you filmed a dead body. <laughs> like... <laughs> You think like a bunch of good things are coming your way after that? Like you're lucky you have a career, dude. Yeah. Like also, know? that's not how the Matrix works either. Yeah, does the Matrix have a target? Not really. The Matrix, uh, no. Do they even have like a Walmart? No, they're usually like it's like big lots and oh, uh, yeah. and Logan Paul is like a living devil. Uh, let's go F <laughs> on this one. F them. F, but like in a good way. All right. Next, we've got how do you sleep at night? Hmm. With a diagram of a bunch of different people <laughs> sleeping with all the numbers, 1 through 18. And then the person responds to it and says, I'm 18 and my girlfriend is 11. <laughs> That's an awesome joke. That's awesome. You think it was intentional? I hope so. Yeah, I think it's cool. actually either way it's hilarious. It's like the perfect number selection too. Yeah. It's the funniest because if you went 18 and 2, yeah. not funny. 17 and 13 even. No, like 18 funny. and 11 is the funniest one. <laughs> it's hilarious. Because 18 is the highest number on here. It's also the one that makes you an adult. It's funnier than 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, and 12. 12 would have been good, but 11 something hits about it. And that 11 is like a girl sleeping on her stomach <laughs> yeah. and 18 is like a guy with a pillow covering his face. He's it's a, so funny. I used to sleep under the blankets because I was so afraid. I used to <laughs> pray for times like this. <laughs> Paul Dano. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, this is awesome. This is maybe my favorite yet. Yeah, this is an S. Yeah. Next from Caleb Huron. People being weird about me being on my mom's phone plan. Guess what? I send her money for the bill and she just handles the logistics of it all. And she's happy to do it because I'm her special little guy. If you don't understand that, I don't know what to tell you. Just say you aren't your mom's precious miracle and go. I really can't help y'all. <laughs> I feel that way sometimes. Yeah, I'm on my mom's phone plan. And yes, I pay her for the bill. And I'm also her special little guy and her precious miracle. Yeah, I'm on my dad's phone plan. He doesn't know I'm still on it. He just thinks phones have gotten more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> they should have like a $5 old man phone plan. Yeah. They really should. Guys would eat that up and then you would have less problematic people on Facebook. Like a hot and ready phone plan. Hot and ready. Five bucks, cricket wireless, old dads just can call each other and it gives them sports scores. It's got a ticker on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yep, a sports ticker and the ability to call. call. Yep. And that's it. That's it. That's and it cool. reads text messages really loud to you when you get them and deletes them immediately after. <laughs> yeah. Um, this gets like a B for me. C. C? All right. Uh, next one from Game Freak. <laughs> yeah, you can fuck the Pokemon in the new one. Let's go. <laughs> I wish. Yeah, people have been waiting for that update. Yeah, I really wish. Game Freak, is this a legit gaming like a... Uh... That's who makes Pokemon. Really? And this is a real tweet. What I'm guessing happened here is this is the day that you could buy verification and somebody changed their name to Game Freak. True. And tweeted it. Or they got hacked. So yeah. like also, it's either of those, but I doubt that Game Freak tweeted that you could fuck the Pokemon in the new one. I like it that it, like the game kind of merges with like Sims. Throw Pokeball, throw Ultra Ball, try for baby. <laughs> Finish on Pikachu's back. Stuff like that. That could be. This is good. This is a nice B for me. Yeah, it's B. Blake Griffin. <laughs> Accidentally hit a squirrel yesterday in my car. Feel so guilty I could barely sleep. Casey Anthony is a monster. <laughs> are these separate thoughts? <laughs> no, those are strung together. Okay. He's saying, I feel so bad for even hitting a squirrel in my car that I can't imagine doing what Casey Anthony did. Which was? Kill her own daughter. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is a monster. Allegedly. Wasn't she proven guilty? I don't know. I don't remember how it all turned out. This is like primetime Lob City Blake Griffin taking the NBA by storm. Also probably has 10 tweets in the Twitter Hall of Fame. Yeah. He tweeted like a moron back then and it yeah. all turned so funny. Him and KD, funniest Twitters ever. Like yeah. old Twitters. Yeah. I really like this one. I like, oh, it's so old though. It's like Twitter artifact museum though. People will remember it forever. Wow. It's an S. Yeah, it's an S. Fuck you, Casey Anthony. Next, Dr. Phil voice. And you have a tweet here where you said, I need the French bitch from the rat movie to spit in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm glad you did the voice. Yeah, this time I decided. That's to good. It. That's my problem with tweets like this. I can never do the voice in my head. I just read it straight up. Really? Yeah, I can't do it. I always do the voices in my head. Really? Yeah, every really? single time. I like any cartoon crush. Anytime someone's like really crushing on a cartoon, it's freaky. In like a nasty, vulgar way too. Always like, I need is. Spit in my mouth. Yeah, I want her to step on me. I think it's an S. I'll give it an A. Can we go A with it? That's fine with me. All right, now we got, it should be illegal to drive this drunk. <laughs> I wish it said like from the car, that would have made it perfect. It does come from South Carolina though. That makes it kind of funny. I guess South Carolina is a beautiful, beautiful state. The thing I will justify about my history of drunk driving, never did it at the hour when school was being let out. You're really patting yourself on the back for like a normal thing. Well, I'm just saying I never did that and I would never do that. Every time I've driven drunk, it's in the wee hours of the morning and Ubers are too expensive due to the surcharge. The surcharge or the, the surge, surge charge? Surcharge. Okay. <laughs> it's like a little mascot they have. Whatever. Tries to make you feel good about paying I don't even extra. Wanna, yeah. I don't even want to talk about that. Okay. I, I just think surcharge. like you're really drawing the line. Like I don't do it at around three. Yeah, when kids are out. <laughs> yeah, I guess. If I'm drunk around three or 3.30, stay my ass at home. Also, kids, there's not just like the only time they're ever anywhere is yeah, when they're being but... let out of school. You've seen them all, right? Like we're waiting across the street. Sure. And even a sober-minded individual has the thought. Not that you want to do it. Right. Yeah. But it's like the you're so close to just being on worldwide news. Yeah. And you also just like think mathematically how many of them could fit across the bumper. So little. Yeah, totally. They're and so, so if you're hammered. Mm. <laughs> This is kind of like shirts that go hard vibes, mm -hmm. you know, which is getting, I'm like a little sick of that style Sour. of humor. Yeah. The original idea I do love, but nowadays. Kind of a C. C. I hate when indie girls do Halloween. What do you mean you're Caroline Polachek? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I really do. Cause I hate an overly adventurous costume that is just like plainly dressed. Yeah. Someone's wearing like a flannel and shorts and they're like, no, I'm this character from this book series that no one's ever read. Right. That shit will piss me off. Like your costume for the night is an annoying person explaining something. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're like begging you're, the question so that you can explain some niche thing that you like. Yeah. You're not selling the product. You're selling the instructional DVD. So, I'm Caroline Polachek. Have you heard So Hot You're Hurting My Feelings? It's on TikTok. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the I'm one judging. with the dance that's like... Yeah, that's not actually my favorite song. I like her earlier work, but. Yeah, I mean like, you know, of it's you her know hit, it's her hit. Like, of course you know that one, yeah. but I like the other stuff. She was in Chairlift. Have you heard Chairlift? <sighs> I love to do handstands for you. I like it's that song. Yeah. You probably know that one. It's from an iTunes iTunes commercial. Mm -hmm. This is like a, a B. I like it. I don't love it. Oh my God. Are you Bjork? Our next tweet comes from Playboy Cardi in 2011. I believe when I die, I may be reborn as a cola bear. <laughs> <laughs> cola bear is awesome. So cute. It is a cute thought. It's like a very innocent, cute thought. It kind of falls into the Martha Stewart category though. You know, it's only because it's from this person so long ago that right. it even is funny. But I like that. I like the Martha Stewart one a lot. I like this one a lot. I'm glad it exists. I go A. A is good. Next one comes from Yeet. Six. They should get him on Portlandia. They still doing that show? <laughs> they should reboot it with yeah, Yeet. They yeah, should. I agree. Fred Armisen and Yeet. That'd be awesome. Um, this is like a C. Amazing what a umlaut can do for a word, though. That's true. Nowadays, like it's not even what it does for the word, like traditionally in mm. language. It's just what it does with Yeet's thing. Is I just think about him going six. Six. Let's have sex at the bank. <laughs> yeah, C's fine. All right. A Lob tweets called the suicide hotline. They told me to kill myself. Somebody responded and said, you should try the suicide prevention hotline. <laughs> and then they sent the meme like, oh. It's pretty good. It's like if you called the poison hotline. 
wine. And they were like, drink everything under the same <laughs> deal. I had to call animal control one time. Really? Yeah. What happened? I found a rare turtle. You found a rare turtle? A red boxed turtle or something. A very rare turtle. Oh. And I knew it when I saw it and I didn't even know the species. I was a kid. And I saw it and I said, that's not normal. It looked mm. exquisite. And I kind of trapped it in. I made like a little makeshift fence. And I called them up and they came and they said, wow, this might be one of 50 in the whole state. And they took it to like a safe state park, a place where it's not going to get like run over by a lawnmower or something. I would have bought it from you. Yeah, see, I'm not in the business of selling endangered animals, you sick freak. 200 bucks. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm not selling endangered animals. It's so dark. 500 bucks. Deal. Dude, I love turtles. This one's good, but it's too dark. C. A. <laughs> <laughs> Average out of yeah, B. B, yeah. yeah. Now we got Andrew Yang tweeting chicken soup. <laughs> he did not. <laughs> Yeah, with this picture of chicken soup that does not look good, you know? Like a whole chicken breast. This is horrific and disgusting. <laughs> it's like a rotisserie chicken thrown in broth. <laughs> I don't like it at all. It's like one thing for this to be the soup. It's the next thing for you to photograph and tweet this. Yeah. Like this is soup that you thought was notably good enough <laughs> yeah. to tweet about. Why has Andrew Yang got so many emojis after his name? It's weird. Chicken soup for the human-centered capitalist soul. <laughs> if it wasn't coming from a politician, it's just whatever, but this guy ran for president. And lost terribly. He basically he had no chance. He had no chance to win. <laughs> bark, bark. Ivanka makes the best soup when I'm sick. I don't like soup, though. I'd rather have chicken tenders. B. I go A, so whatever you want. B. Tyler 01010101 says, when you see two people in an open relationship, it's like, which one of you came up with the idea and which one of you cries to sleep every night? This is like regular person Twitter. Not funny to Yeah, me. where's the joke? It's like the new version of Tumblr posts. I give this an F. Yeah, this is a big F. Next we got from Ethan is online, friend of the show, sex work. Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. A play on the Drew Gooden road work ahead sign. That's a vine. Drew, that's a Drew Gooden vine. I think that will be a huge like brain blast for me if that's true. Road head ahead. Sure <laughs> hope I get it. <laughs> See, that's we should collab, dude. What? We you should work on something together, being funny and shit. Sometimes when we like really get going, our shit collides and we are like funnier than just one person. Yeah. Like the way we bounce off of each other, it's like I'm this and you're that and when they merge there's a middle ground there that is just funny it's almost like we're a comedy duo or something <laughs> it's almost like we should do a show i would never think about it like that but sure man think about us as like a speed skating team and i'm kind of holding your hips and you're when you run out of energy you flick me around and i like <laughs> i take off right you know yeah. how like i like i'm like drifting sure, essentially yeah yeah uh -huh. you're out of energy and you I love that. Yeah. But follow me here. <laughs> okay. Um, I kind of have like a, a dry humor and I would very much consider yours a sopping wet humor. Sopping wet? <laughs> yeah. 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 You can hear it walking down the hall. <laughs> I'll give it a B. Yeah, it's a good B. Next we got from Booger, <laughs> from Booger Butt <laughs> at Full Metal Dipshit. <laughs> I know MFs were giggling in the Trojan horse, like, OMG, Thalpius, stop it. You're going to get us in trouble. <laughs> it's not bad. I like it. It imagines a time where nobody would ever be talking like this, but still uses the name <laughs> Thalpius. Yeah. yeah, it does a very good job of merging those two worlds in the funniest possible outcome yeah. for this idea. I got beef with this whole idea, though. Why? No way the Trojan horse happened. You don't think so? You're at war with someone, and you show up, and you're like, hey, man, sorry about all the kids and stuff we've been doing to each other. Here's a big horse. <laughs> And they're like, oh, why, thank you. See you on the battlefield. The French gave us the Statue of Liberty. Have we checked inside there yet? Yes, people go in it every day. Really? You yeah. can go inside of the Statue of Liberty? There's a viewing balcony, like, in the crown. Oh. Are you serious? That's besides the point. Cool. Trojan horse never happened. I think they, like, won the war, and some smart-ass general or emperor wrote it in history. Like, we sure tricked them. And they're like, sir, we didn't do that. And he's like, whatever, write it. There's no cameras yet. Everyone's going to believe it. <laughs> he said that? He said that. He said that. There's no cameras yet. Yeah. Camaraderie comes from the Latin word camera, which means a device to take a picture. They had that word long before they had cameras. Explain that to me. I can't. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. Why were they saying that word? It's an S for me. Oh, really? It's just an A for me. I'm cool with A. Jake tweets, hey man, want to grab lunch? We're going to this taco place called Floofies. All the tacos are like $9 and they suck dick. <laughs> There's a bunch of neon signs everywhere that say be a messy bitch and me gusta tequila. <laughs> Our racist gay couple from Vermont owns it. It used to be a women's shelter. 
<laughs> I don't see many tweets, but I saw this one when it came out and I loved it. Oh, this is so good. It's like a Tim Robinson sketch or something. It kind of reminds me of Stefan from SNL. Yeah. Bill Hader's character mm -hmm. written by John Mulaney. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like the hottest nightclub in New York yeah. is and it lists all these things that are really outlandish. And bad about but it. But this is like that, but within it's painting a stereotype. Yeah. Of like a bougie, stupid new taco place. Because mm -hmm. I can imagine places that I have been in Detroit with neon signs oh, like yeah. that, with the price range like that. I hate a soulless new restaurant so much. As I get older, I've really noticed it's something that like I despise, truly. Yeah. When I was younger, I'd fall victim to the lights and the flair. Oh my God, this taco has Skittles on it. That is quirky. Stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know where you're going, but. Yeah. But as I've gotten older, it's just like, I would rather be in a dirty restaurant that's been there for 40 years and the tacos are gas in like $3. See? This one's awesome though. This is an ass for me. Ass. What if God came down to earth and said it's pronounced Jod and left? <laughs> <laughs> I literally got in a fight with my significant other the other day because they said Jeff. Jeff instead of GIF? Yeah. Yeah. And it pissed me off. And now I'm going to quote this to them later. The guy who created the GIF says it's pronounced Jeff. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Fuck him. Don't care if he's alive or dead. Don't think he is. Either? Purgatory. It just is GIF. Yeah. Graphic is the first word in it, so it's GIF. Yeah. Graphic. Graphic Park. I do like the idea that God's just been sitting up there for like thousands of years listening to people say God, and then he's just had enough. Yeah. That's what made him come down. <laughs> not the killing, not the pillaging, any of that stuff that people are doing, the terrible things, the natural disasters, the mass shootings. Circumcisions. <laughs> he comes down and he's like, it's Jod. Yeah. Just call me Jod. And then he just bounces back up there. He's like, as you were. As He'd you climb were. his ass. Yeah. We'd be like, fuck out of here, dude. Yeah, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> what if Jod was <laughs> one of us? I like this one, but I don't love it. I'm going like B, C range. B. Okay. B, I think, yeah. Next we've got Justin Trudeau deciding his Halloween costume with a screenshot of a thumbnail from Cody Ko's marathon training channel that says, my next race. <laughs> if you don't know, Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada, had some old pictures leak of him doing blackface of, on Halloween. Yeah. Multiple times, I believe. There's like more than twice, one. Yeah. I think he said he's not <laughs> ruling out that they're gonna find more. Yeah. I mean, Cody Ko has been on YouTube for so long, he had to know that this could be used for a joke. Yeah. Like my next race. Yeah, very know? successful on it too. I think it's very good. I give this I like, like an A. It's a good A for me too. You know, man, I finally agree with all those people who say that you've been single-handedly carrying YouTube. That'd be funny. Huh, just thought about this. I think there's a guy out there who like has like a taken hand and a single hand. Like he like only touches like other girls with one hand. He's like, ah, this is my single hand. <laughs> Don't you wish you could stop? What that goes on up here? Yeah. No, I think it's kind of fun. Like that's like just a funny to think about. Like think about like a chubby dude in some flannel. Like he's like rubbing up on a girl and somebody comes over and like, dude, you have a girlfriend. He's like, this is my single hand. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, won't touch, uh, this one's loyal. I won't, I won't touch her with this one, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Want to keep going? Yeah. Okay. Next, we've got from Aaron, first chicken pox, then monkey pox. That's two pox in a row. This is starting to shake me to the cure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is... <laughs> This is like somebody who thought they were doing something and then got to the end, realized they didn't do it and yeah. was like, fuck, fuck it. it. And then deleted it. Yeah, it which fell made, off the like, rails. They were like, nope, I'm, I can't <laughs> nope. even leave this one up. Shake me to the cure. <laughs> <laughs> the, the last sentence you didn't need. It's not going to be a good joke either way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's something about it. Yeah, but we're laughing at them, not with them. I'm laughing with Aaron here. Yeah, really? Yeah, because I can totally relate to this. I'd come to dead ends in my head all the time where I see something and I'm like, oh, I could do something with this. And then I get there and I'm like, this makes no sense. <laughs> this is an S. An S? Yeah. S. I think it's funny. There we go. S for me too then. That's fine. I just thought you were going to be like, that's a C. You thought wrong. And you were probably a C-section baby. Correct. Leroy X with the at no woman is right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is their Twitter at, <laughs> which I cannot believe. That's a real take on the all men are trash. No woman is right. Imagine that in a neon sign in a diner. <laughs> That's how the 50s were. Yeah. It was like, yeah, no woman is right. Hey, I love this place. <laughs> More burgers, please. Women are sitting in there like, that's fine. <laughs> Need any help back there? That's it. You're getting a lobotomy. <laughs> 
We're sending our kids to camp for the next 16 years. I need more time to cheat on you. <laughs> Leroy X tweets, if my girl having a bad day, then I'll talk to her tomorrow. Ain't no point in ruining both our days. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. See, I would really like this from a person who isn't a woman hater, who is more just trying to be funny. Because no woman is right makes me think that they just tweet anti-woman shit all day. <laughs> yeah, or it's like a real subversive joke going on here, which, you know, we've given the liberty to other tweets and accounts here. So I'm going to give the liberty here and say Leroy's just like going the extra mile okay. to make the joke funny. I go out to dinner with my girlfriend. She says she's not hungry. Next thing you know, she's eating half my food. You know what I mean? <laughs> shit like that. Yeah, like, normal person Twitter. Yeah, normal person Twitter. And people yeah. are like, true. Yeah, they're like, oh, that's relatable. <laughs> Absolutely like, true. If you just had like a burner Twitter account and you tweeted like, women be lying, <laughs> you'd probably get like 200,000 likes on it. Only thing a man needs to be happy is an ice cold beer, his dog, and a football game. <laughs> All right, what are we thinking? B. B, okay. My nephew just said to me, is wind made from birds flapping their wings? He's so adorable, isn't he? Wrong. My nephew's 24 and addicted to heroin. Damn. <laughs> yeah, you're imagining a little kid saying that, aren't you? Yeah, I was. And then you imagine a 24-year-old addicted to heroin. Did your mom ever lie to you? Anything like that? Like fun little lies? Aside from, you know, the normal, the tooth fairy, Santa Claus, that sort of deal. She also used a word for poop that nobody uses. Okay, I don't want to hear it. Mm, okay, so I thought it was called that for many years. All right, what is it? Aki's? Oh, I've heard Aki. Really? Yeah. Well, not like the Aki way or anything like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give it to me the poopy way. <laughs> I've heard. I want to chop cheese. Give it to me the poopy way. They're not doing that. I think my mom said Aki. She said Kaka all the time. Yeah, Kaka. I hate that one. Yeah, my mom too. never said that. She'd be like, is it number one or is it Aki's? Ew. The Aki way. <laughs> you gotta go to the bathroom, <laughs> yeah. huh? The Aki. Ma, I gotta go the Aki way. <laughs> Whenever we drove by like a plant of any kind, like a power plant. Yeah. That had emissions coming out. My mom would say Say, that's how clouds are made. I've heard that one. Oh, my parents did tell me that a thunderstorm was angels bowling in heaven. That's so stupid. Going I'm bowling. so glad I wasn't raised Catholic. Like thunder was like them hitting the pins and lightning was oh. a strike. We just listened to Garth Brooks. We listened to Elvis Costello a lot. <laughs> What's so funny about peace, <laughs> understand? Then this is a D. I don't really care about this one anymore. It's like, bleh. no, stop the epidemic though. Get people off the juice. All right, this one is funny for context. Billie Eilish lyric bot, Billie Eilish stan page that tweets every day. Tweets, happy 21st birthday to the incredibly talented Billie Eilish. Sorry for the late post, by the way. My next door neighbor was murdered and I was at the police station for almost 24 whole hours with crying emoji. <laughs> I hate to say it because now this is going to get dark. Yeah. I wish something like that would happen to me. Come on, man. I'm serious. Really? You don't want to be questioned in a murder investigation. When did you see him last? I when mean, did anybody suspicious pull up in the drive? I want to be in the mix, man. Yeah, I mean, I do really like the vibe of kind of like a neighborhood conversation. Somebody's like wrapped in a blanket and they come up and they're like, so what happened? Like. <laughs> And like, so what I heard is that Sally's little boy got hit and I think it was a stray bullet. Any idea who did it? Like that, like that Twilight Zone vibe, yeah. I do like that. That's what I'm saying. But I don't want it to happen. Well, I'm not saying I wish murder upon nobody. I'm not saying that. But if it's going to happen, it might as well happen in your proximity. In the vicinity. Like, yeah. I want to wake up to an officer at my door and they're like, hey, why were two bodies found in your trash can? And I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like I got some explaining to do. Right. And I like, I, I have an alibi and all this, but I want to deliver it. You know, I want to be at the epicenter of drama in the legal system. I like this tweet for the idea of the stand page. Yeah. <laughs> like you really see behind a veil there. Like this mm -hmm. is a person who just posts Billy Eilish stuff. And all of a sudden, yeah, something so crazy happens to them <laughs> that they just have to break the barrier and be like, listen, guys, my next door neighbor was murdered. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And that's why I didn't post for Billy's birthday, birthday. Yeah. <laughs> which is an important day on my yeah. stand page that you guys all follow me for. Couldn't have just said emergency. Yeah. No, you and gotta give, give the, details. the details. With the crying laughing emoji, <laughs> like it is just crazy. That is. So, this is an S. Yeah, S for me too. I love that it happened. <laughs> Decided to pour the contents of a snow globe into a glass and drink it. We'll keep you all updated on how this goes. <laughs> then quote tweets it and says, hospital. <laughs> I've always wondered what would happen. I love it. <laughs> hospital. One word. <laughs> that's the best part about it. <laughs> Hospital. <laughs> Hospital. That's your update. That's your update, guys. <laughs> don't drink it. I don't know why this one really got me. Yeah. The contents of the snow globe, not that funny, but the update. <laughs> I used to eat uh, glow sticks. I used to eat a lot of chapstick. 
You used to eat chapstick? Like, you know, the kids chapstick, Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, yeah, it was Skittles, like edible, yeah. ring out the whole tube. <laughs> My teeth would get all waxy. It was edible. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, it's still- like it's edible, so it's not dangerous to eat. Give you a bellyache. I mean, I'm sure it would. That's what I mean. It's edible. Like if you found out your kid broke into your purse and took your chapstick and ate it, yeah. it's not an issue. Or you have to take them to the hospital. Right. But it's not like food. No. And I it got to a problem. Like I was addicted. You were addicted to eating chapstick. Yeah. I'd steal my sister's. What was your favorite flavor? Skittles. The Skittles <laughs> chapstick. Skittles, man. It's the same <laughs> price to get a bag of Skittles. Yeah, but they weren't soft and waxy like that. You're missing the point, man. It was like a forbidden sensation. Yeah. I was like on a next level of candy. I took candy flavor and put it on something that no one else was consuming and became addicted to it. You never cease to amaze me. I think I know everything about you and then I hear something that I just like, I know that's real. Yeah, totally. I have a vivid memory of stealing my sister's chapstick that she got for her birthday and running behind behind our shed in our yard and <laughs> spinning the tube out by myself like a junkie. And it would get so big that sometimes it would it would start to fall <laughs> and I'd have to get it before I hit the ground. And I ate it and my parents knew exactly that I did it. And I was like, <laughs> my teeth are like waxy and full of shit. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? And they were like, you are fucked up. You have to stop. My sister was like (laughs) crying like a little baby. Anyway. This is an A for me. A for me as well. Now we got Skatey420. Here we go. Friend of the show. Women just want a man with the mind of Trevor Noah, the looks of Jay Leno, the playfulness of James Corden, the wisdom of Bill Maher, and the heart of Jimmy Fallon. That is a perfect man. I love it. It's the looks of Jay Leno. That's the funniest one. Yeah, that is the funniest looks of Jay <laughs> And the wisdom of Bill Maher. Jay Leno looks like he's from space. He like, looks like a Muppet. I think I've said this before, but he really looks like he was drawn by Seth MacFarlane. Yeah, he looks like a Muppet <laughs> character. Like the shape of his face is like a like a wide quagmire. He's gotten more normal looking. Have you noticed that? Have you seen him recently? Yeah. I don't he, know if we've just existed with him long enough. Yeah. But he's like normalized himself. I think we're somehow. just used to him. Yeah, I guess yeah. he's worn us down. To we're work. like, oh, that's a type of person now. Yeah. So I've seen him for a while. He's got a cool car collection. I think I want to be him for Halloween next year. Really? That would be a good one. I love Katie's tweets. This one was just like funny for a moment. I love the structure of it. Me too. Yeah, I give it like a B. Oh, it's a good B. Yeah. Can you fluff my pillow for me? Ooh, my gosh. Lots of dust came up from that. Yeah, you gotta get that middle nice and plump. There you go. Thanks. Next one from Carter Hambly. Joe Biden on hot ones, but he's just eating 10 normal <laughs> grapes. <laughs> he's still crying and sweating. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> just... A guy that age should not be eating grapes. Unless they're cut. <laughs> <laughs> they're too slippery and round. It'll yeah, choke and die. Yeah, it goes straight down. Oh, yeah. I like the idea of Joe Biden doing anything like new media. It's he is going to be the butt of the joke yeah. on that and won't know it. And it'll mm-hmm. be very weird and like surreal to watch a president do the hot wings thing. And he's going in. You know they're writing a joke for him that he's just going to fumble the whole delivery. Like he's going to be like, now, Sean, before we get to this next one, I got to tell you about one time I ate a little too hot of a wing. Sean's like, okay, when did you do that, Joe? And he's like, 1932. (laughs) He's like looking at the camera, getting the timing wrong. It'd be awesome. I want him on like uh, comedians in cars. (laughs) He falls asleep. (laughs) Jerry's just driving around. <laughs> How you doing, Joe? Joe, I'm coming over. We're Joe, having coffee. What year is it? <laughs> We're going out for a cup of Joe. That's you. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to give this like a C. Pull I, it up to a B for me. Okay. It's a good idea. It's a good visual to have, just mm-hmm. like him plopping some grapes yeah. in his mouth. You know? <laughs> so those are our rankings of the best tweets of all time. According to you guys, these were your suggestions. We picked the best ones and we ranked them. We're going to continue doing this. There is a Discord channel for it if you'd like to join our Discord or just tweet them at us. Find us on Twitter and find us on Instagram and send them to us in the DMs. Text me. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe all the stuff I said at the beginning, and diggy boy. Go ahead and uh, give these people some advice to leave or live their lives by. <clears throat> Thanks to yeast, the good stuff always comes to the top. The yeast of the universe. All right, this has been I, My TV. Love you. Appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, Diggin broke his arm too, by the way. We didn't explain it, but he broke his arm a different way. I was trying to help the birth of a horse that I bred with the devil. Let's just say that horse didn't want to let that baby out. All right, see you in the next one. <laughs>
It stinks like shit. I bet it stinks like shit. I had Rosie pee in it last night. Rosie peed <laughs> in it? Warmed it up. Like in the cast? Yeah, right up through here. Really? And he put his little penis right in here and he pissed in it. Why? To warm it up. It was cold? Yeah, it was ice cold. And that was your solution? I don't know. That's what we did. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it was my solution. I didn't really want it to go down like that. Right. We didn't have any hot water or nothing like that, so. Has anyone told you you're starting to look like a corpse? Yeah. Right. My girlfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, cool. She likes it, though. Her ex was Tim Burton, so. Oh, really? Yeah. That was kind of the nightmare before Christmas, you know, breaking this thing. Future says drugs, drugs, duck says quack. Riley says wah, wah. Dignan says slap. Something must be in retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Mitch McConnell. Can you stop it? <laughs>